Hello there. Um, my name is Romeo Carvalho, and today we're gonna talk uh, about how to install uh, the Unibase development environment on your computer. Uh, and we're gonna start by showing how to download the clips. And this is really straightforward. I, I'm assuming you have some background on Java development and Eclipse development, uh, Java development using Eclipse. So I'm just gonna point here to the website. Um, so you have to go to eclipse.org and once you're there, you know, just go to the first link on the side and here it says download Eclipse and you click on it and it's probably gonna, you know, suggest to install the Eclipse ID for Java developers. You go on that one and on my computer, it's a Mac OS uh, 64. I'm gonna choose that and once I click on this here, on the suggested uh, uh, source for download, it's gonna download my computer uh, just for time saving. I already have that here on the downloads. I did that before starting the tutorial. But basically to install Eclipse, all you have to do is to unzip this file that you have just downloaded. And just for reference, uh, I'm using uh, Helios uh, version of Eclipse. So if you're looking at this later on and maybe Helios is an old version, just remember I did it with Helios though. So that's where it's supposed to work with. So to run it, it just go double click on Eclipse app um, and double click here. It's going to complain because I downloaded this file, but I said, okay, no problem. I know it's okay to do it. And I do that. It's going to open Eclipse and ask uh, which workspace I want to use in this workspace where your projects are going to be. Again, I'm assuming you know a little bit about Eclipse, so I'm not going to talk about that too much in detail. I'm just going to use the workspace two as default and workspace too, just because I want to get a clean uh, workspace that has nothing inside yet. You can choose whatever name you like. Once you do that, then we're gonna have this uh, Eclipse uh, uh, window here, and I'm not. I'm gonna assume you know uh, about Eclipse already, so we're not gonna go through tutorials, just go straight to the workbench. Okay, so this is basically what you get once you install Eclipse and you download that version that I just showed you. However, we do need some other things in order to uh, use Unity Base in our, uh, to get Unity Base going on our project. And this other thing is actually a Maven. So if you go here back to the links, you're gonna have another page that I like, and I'm gonna highlight this page here. I'm gonna give you a few seconds because I'm gonna focus on it. Uh, so you can actually read and, and copy for reference. And here has an explanation on how to install Maven uh, on, your low, on your computer. And basically it has information how to do it for Mac, has information how to do it using Mac ports, and has information how to do it on Windows, and also Linux and, and so on. Uh, so basically the here is a good reference to install in every plat platform you have. So once you do that, I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do this. This should be really straightforward. Just download it and create some some you know M2 home uh, variables and, and so on, and you should go to should be good to go. Uh, so once you do that, you have Maven installed on your local machine. I'm not gonna explain too much about Maven either. I'm gonna assume you can you know go layer to some Maven tutorial. Uh, okay. So the next thing we need to do is actually install a Maven plugin inside Unity Base. So I'm gonna use this plugin here. There is another one uh, that actually I like better, but I don't have the link right now, so I'm not gonna show you, but you can Google for it. It's uh, inside uh, eclipse.org. If you Google for Maven plugin, you should find it. But this is also one that works and it's actually on the readme file on Unity Base. So if you go to this website, and again, I'm gonna leave some time here so you can actually take a look at it. It's uh, code.google.com slash p slash q4e. And you go to installation, you're gonna see here uh, the update site you need to install on, on Eclipse. So I'm just gonna copy this link and I'm gonna go to Eclipse and I'm gonna go to help, install a new software. And then I'm gonna add the new uh, place, I'm gonna call it Maven. Uh, and I'm gonna put that link uh, that I just copied here and press OK. Once I do that, it's gonna have some information here. I'm basically just gonna use the core, download the core uh, feature 
here. I don't need any other uh, optional uh, things. And if you want, you can install them. I, I think I just need this core one. So if I go on next, it's gonna you know take some time computing what it needs, dependencies, whatever. Uh, shows there. I click next. I accept the license and finish. And that should be enough to install it. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna be installing it. It says that it doesn't have a, its own signed content. I'm just gonna trust it. I know I've been using it for a while, no problem. And it says, you know, we should restart it. I'm gonna restart Eclipse. And we should go be good to use Maven now inside Eclipse. Okay, so we actually need something else. Uh, Unity Base uses a SVN repository. So we need the SVN plugin for Eclipse. And I already have a link here already. Uh, you can see here it's eclipse.org slash subversive. So in here, uh, you can take a look at the link. I'm gonna leave it for a second so you can actually look at it. Once you get into this uh, web page, you go click here on download. And once you click in download, uh, what really matters, remember we are using the Helios uh, release of Eclipse. And all I need is actually to see this update site here. So it tells me that I need to go to help install new software, then select Helios and go to collaboration tools. And there is where I should find uh, the plugin that I need to install. So let's do that. If I go here to help um, install new software, I'm going to select Helios. So you see Helios here, select that. It's gonna take some time trying to find it. Uh, once it opens, you go to collaboration, and then I'm gonna try to find the SVN. You can see here SVN, I'm just gonna choose this one, which is the, the one really required. Uh, I'm not gonna choose any of the optional ones. And so it's pretty much the last one, the team provider. I'm gonna click next. Again, it's gonna compute and com some requirements, compute the, the time, dependency, whatever. Once it does that, it finds what it needs. You say accept the license agreement. Uh, okay, now asks us again to restart uh, our uh, Eclipse, and then we're gonna do that so everything gets set up correctly. And again, it's gonna have some information here. I'm just gonna go straight to Workbench because we don't really need all that. But now basically what we do is that we go here to uh, the perspectives in Eclipse. You're gonna see SVN repository now here. And once we go there, it's gonna actually tell us that we need something else. We need to install the connector uh, discovery uh, toolkit. So I'm gonna choose this one here, SVN kit uh, 135, and I'm gonna finish. It's gonna, you know, do the same thing. It's gonna install some other plugins in order for this to work. I'm gonna click next, accept the, the agreement again, and then finish. This before, no problem there. And restart Eclipse again. So now we should have everything we need. Uh, we have Maven plugin, we have uh, Eclipse installed, the Maven plugin in Eclipse and also the subversive uh, plugin for Eclipse. So we can actually now download the Base project. So basically what we have to do now is go to the Base page and you can see here on the top, the page is sourceforce.net slash project slash UNV Base. And you can go to code, which is what we wanna do. Once you click in code, you're gonna see this link down here and this is actually the repository we want to look at for Unity Base source code. So if we go back to Eclipse and click New Repository Location, we have to put that URL here. And then I'm not going to put, uh, I'm going to just use the repository URL as the label. I'm not going to put any user or password because I'm just going to download it as an anonymous person. So you have access as an open source project to all the source code and you can use it. However, you're not gonna be able to commit if you're not a developer, if you don't have permission to, to commit to the repository. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna click finish and it's gonna install. I'm gonna allow to do it. And you can see now here, 
inside Eclipse, actually the repository, and you go to trunk, you have a lot of folders here. Basically, UMD base is the core uh, of our Proving framework. So this you need to have in order to use UMD base and all the other ones besides this server uh, and this AGB project, they are all plugins for UMD base. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to download two UMD base and then UMD base Miben which is the, the most used plugin uh, nowadays on UMD base. So if I do right click here and check out this project, UMD base project, it's gonna download everything from, from the SVN repository. Okay, once that's done, uh, we can go to the Java perspective and you're gonna see our project there, but it's gonna have some errors. Basically what we need to do is to right click and say, okay, this is a Maven project, so use Maven dependency management. Uh, once we do that, uh, you should be able to solve most of the problems. On my computer, I'm sure it's gonna solve all the problems, but that's not gonna be the case on, for most people because they still need to go to the readme file and see what you have to do next. So basically we've done the, the first three steps here on the readme file, but now you need to also install this jar file, which is located at the, you know, and the base project folder in slash lib slash jpf and you go there and have to do this maven command to install the jar file that we depend on and which is not available on the on a central repository on the web so we have this file here as you can see on lib jpf jpf .jar. you have to install that by using this maven command okay so once you do that i'm not going to do it here because i already have on my local maven uh, repository but once you do that and then you refresh your project or do a clean on it, if you go to project and, and clean the project, uh, basically it's going to work like mine and you have no problem. So if you want to run uh, this project, you can go here to, I don't like uh, this view, I like a uh, hierarchical view. So you click here, package representation hierarchical. And then you have this main debug on UNB base. I'm going to run this one. So run as Java application. Want to do that, then there you go, you have NB base running. You can create a new uh, guy here and just use it. Okay, so let's close it. Uh, I'm just gonna show you here. I like to give names to this thing, so the configuration. I'm gonna call it here UNB base and apply. So it's gonna let me know it's easier when I have to run it again. It's right here. So, last thing I wanna show today is just how to download a plugin and how it you know, to configure that plugin. So here, if again, I'm gonna do the same thing, right click, and I'm gonna do that for uh, the Miben project. I'm gonna right click and check out. And again, it's gonna go through that process of downloading the project, uh, connecting to our repository and download everything. Okay, once it's done, we can go back to our Java perspective. And now you can see that we have Miben here but again, we have the same problem. We have to tell Eclipse that this is actually a Maven project. So we have used Maven dependency. And once I do that, it should solve all the problems. Again, it's gonna solve all the problems because I already have all the jars installed on my local Maven repository, but that's probably not the case for you. And you have to go to the readme file and follow the instructions uh, down here where it tells you where to go and which you know, jar files to install and gives you the command to use Maven to install those jar files. So basically, again, these are jar files that do not have, uh, you know, the repository available on the web, on the Maven repository <clears throat> to allow you to automatically, to allow Maven to automatically download them for you. That's why we are, provide them here on Maven lib. So basically here you have all the jar files and you can install them. Okay, once you do that, then you should have it working as mine. And to run it, you go to source test and to default package and you double click on this guy here, right click, run as Java application. Once you do that, you know, now you have not just Bayesian network, but also booty entity Bayesian network working. And if you click here, and then you have the, you know, even uh, view and you can create a new M frag and create a resident node input node and so on so 
you know, basically that's what I want to show you today. Um, you have here your two projects working on your base score and, and Miven. You can see here another thing, a quick thing that I want to show is that you have a Maven a class path uh, container where you have all the jars you depend on. And sometimes if it doesn't find the jar file, it tries to find the project that matches the version you have defined on your POM file. In this case, VNB base, it's not using a jar, but it's actually using the project we already have on our workspace here. So it links to the project automatically. And you can see here on the POM file that you actually have, uh, we depend on VNB base version 4.2.3, if I'm not mistaken. There you go, we depend on the version 4.2.3. But uh, the, the Maven file, the jar file we provide here for UNB base is actually uh, you know, 410, so that's not gonna work. But if you have, uh, that's because we didn't create a newer release yet. Once we create that release, we're gonna fix this jar file here for you. Uh, but if you have the, the project on your workspace and the version matches, so if you go to the, the POM file, on UNB base and see the version is also 432, 423, then you're good to go because it's gonna use this version here instead of using the jar file. And that's why it's working. Okay, thank you very much. That's it for today. Bye-bye.